Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. Ashton, uh, one of the things that uh, one of our callers mentioned a few minutes ago uh, for a different reason was core aeration. Uh, talk a little bit about that, and, and would you recommend that in the spring? Okay, core aeration is, uh, is a machine that will actually go across the lawn and pull out cores of, uh, of soil and thatch and uh, leave them laying on the surface of the lawn, and it allows the air and water to penetrate the thatch layer. The thatch is that brown debris that's between the soil and the, and the top growth of the green growth. Uh, you know, right now you might see a lot more brown on the lawn, but uh, if you were to take a knife and just cut out uh, a little plug and look at it sideways, a side view, you could see the thatch that's above the soil. And if you've got more than a half inch of thatch, then it's a good idea maybe to core aerate. If you're going to core aerate in the spring, the key is to do it before you put your crabgrass preventer down. So it would be something that you would want to do uh, before, say, mid-April. Uh, and then you would be ready to spread your crabgrass preventer. Because if you were to spread your crabgrass preventer towards the end of April and then come back with core aeration in May, then you break that barrier that you put down on the soil to keep the crabgrass from growing, the weed prevention barrier. You have broken that and allowed the crabgrass to germinate past the, the broken barrier now that you, that you broke with the core aeration. So for that reason, if you're not able to do it early in the spring, then you probably should just wait until uh, fall. And uh, it's, a, it's a great practice to do in the fall uh, to kind of help open the lawn up and allow air and water to get past the thatch and uh, allow your uh, roots to go deeper and so forth and so on. Hey, thanks again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well, the Plant of the Week podcast and the Plant Talk Radio podcast, all on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast, contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com. To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. Circle270media.com.